Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. Now today I intend to start a playlist on unit testing in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and I intend to start with some concepts before setting out to do the practical stuff in the next part by actually bringing in cloning the Microsoft GitHub repository for samples for testing an MVC controller. So please stay tuned and if you like my channel, if you like the videos in general, please do share with your friends and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell like notification icon so that whenever I upload my videos, you'll get an instant notification. So please stay tuned till the end and I will try to make it as interesting as possible. So what are you going to learn in this lecture? This will be a bit of a theory, so please, it is very necessary to know a little bit of theory for all of whom are not having any background in unit tests. And if you have any background in unit tests, feel free to uh, skip to the next video. So what are unit tests and how do we test unit test controllers? And also, um, this will be part of the next lecture. So now, what we'll do is, what are unit tests? Now unit tests involve testing a part of an app and unit tests can be said to be the lowest level of testing and they are carried out in isolation from the app's infrastructure and dependencies. So for example, when I'm talking about controller unit testing, so controller logic is a particular, a controller action method is a particular, um, piece of action it is carrying out, okay, and it is being tested in unit test. We don't take into account the entire ASP.NET Core framework or even the dependencies for that particular web application and only in isolation we do the unit testing and that's why I call this a fine grain of control, a fine grain of testing at the lowest level of testing and as opposed to opposed to the integration testing or system testing. And as I write here, they are carried out in isolation from the app's infrastructure and dependencies. And only a single action is tested, excluding the behavior of its dependencies or of the framework itself. All right, so how do we unit test controllers? So we set up unit tests of controller actions to focus on the controller's behavior, basically. So each action method in controller is focusing on one behavior, okay? Or it is uh, actually serving certain logic, like the get list of uh, items, you know, that is getting the list of all the products, say, for example, and then get by ID. So that is getting a product or anything, say, for example, a student by ID. But when we say that we are unit testing, we are unit testing one action method at a time and a unit test of a controller avoids interactions among components like filters, routing and model binding. But integration testing does this. It Integration testing does cover the interaction among the components that collectively respond to a request. And if we need to unit test custom filters and routes which we might have written, we should unit test them in isolation and not as part of tests on a particular controller action. So again, on a parting note, I would again appeal to all of you to put a like if you like my video and um, also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon notification and share my channel with as many friends as you can and that will help me in building more such interactive videos. Thank you very much for your viewing.